of fuel worth 17 billion shillings, despite claims by KPA Managing Director William Ruto that the businesswoman forged documentation of the said fuel cargo. Nazian Keitani now reports Njeri, who went missing last week on Thursday, early Tuesday presented herself in court, accompanied by her lawyer Cliff Ombeta, who blamed the government for the abduction of the businesswoman. Four days after disappearing under unclear circumstances, businesswoman Anne Jerry was today traced at Nyayo Estate in Embakasi by her lawyers led by Cliff Ombeta, later on presenting herself before the Mombasa law courts. As controversy continues to brew regarding the ownership of the 17 billion worth of fuel docked at the Mombasa port, as alluded to by Energy CS Davis Churcher, Jerry affirmed meeting the CS who informed her about the ownership of the fuel cargo and instructed her to record a statement at the DCI. However, little did she know that her journey into the DCI offices would later lead to her disappearance. Na wakati tunasubiri nilienda kumuona uh, CS Chiri Chiri na ndia kaniambia mafuta siwa yangu tena mafuta ni ya company na jita Garana. So tulianza kutoka, kutoka kwenye murango ya CID headquarters uh, na nikaona tumeelekea jia ya kwenda Kiambu so nienda nikiwauliza bwana mwanipeleka wapi jamani uh, kabio sijali hakuna shida despite KPA managing director and energy CS noting that the fuel cargo did not belong to the businesswoman Jerry insists on the ownership of the 17 billion worth of fuel nileta mafuta hapa nchini uh, meli yangu iliingia tarehe 10 mwezi wa 11 na ilikuwa imebeba 100,000 metric ton of EN 590 10 ppm diesel after being released with those behind her abduction demanding that she withdraws the case filed in court her lawyer Cliff Ombeta blamed the government for the abduction while blasting them for trying to use force to claim ownership of the fuel the threats she had been given was that she needs to withdraw the case, not to speak to her lawyers, and to leave the country immediately. Wacha ni wambie serikali kona usiano, haya mafuta ni serikali mechukua. Serikali meiba haya mafuta kwa sababu haya kuwa yao, lakini wameingiza kwa pipeline yao. Uo siniwizi. Ombeta and Jerry denied claims of the businesswoman using fake documents to claim ownership, with Jerry admitting that the only document she was not aware was needed was the import permit. Sija forge. I never dealt with any forged document on my business. All documents are legit. Na wanasema kuwa makaratasi yake yalikuwa gushi. Makaratasi gani yalikuwa gushi. Nyi mwona makaratasi yao. Ikiwa makaratasi yake yalikuwa fake. Mbona hea ya meachiliwa. With the revelation made by Njeri throwing a spanner into the works and the businesswoman still claiming ownership of the cargo, her lawyers are maintaining that her life is under threat. The question remains. Who is behind the kidnapping of the businesswoman? And just who is the genuine owner of the 17 billion worth of fuel? Ian Kitani, Lick Up TV.